Today is October 8th. We are in Montreal. Um, can you give us your full name, please? Uh, my full name is Hanna Pajala Assefa. And where are you based? I'm based in Helsinki, Finland. What do you do? Um, well, my background is choreography and contemporary dance, um, which I have been working with for over 25 years. But at the moment, I'm working quite intensively with art and with dance and technology in a dance practice way with um, with the project or practice called Sounding Motion, which is a sensor-based, um, we use sensor-based technology or sensors to um, create music from live from improvised performance and, and movement. And I also have a project called Skeleton Conductor, which is um, in one way taking this uh, dance practice into virtual realm and creating a, an XR experience, a user-based experience uh, for creating or interacting movement, interacting with the virtual environment and creating sounds and visuals or influencing and creating, affecting the sounds and visuals through your movement in a virtual space. So you are not only trying to control the visuals, but also to create the music in some way through movement, right? Yes, yes. I'm actually much more concentrated in the sound, in the, in the sort of sonic expression through movement uh, than visuals. I, visuals are kind of um, a mandatory um, additional uh, output in a virtual reality realm because you can't put a person in a black um, void and 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 have them feel comfortable and also I feel that the the visuals um, we are creating are trying to really emphasize the sonic um, interaction inside this inside this virtual environment or um, reality <laughs> that we are creating but really yes I'm very much uh, concerned with um, with this kind of like kinesonic expressions and kinesonic composition mm, while interacting in, inside a virtual realm. And you think this would be a kind of individual um, experience or you are planning to have this as a collective experience or a group performing together inside the same virtual space? Yeah, well at the moment we are creating a, a single user experience. This is the sort of first step of the project. Um, it's it's quite a demanding task also to to kind of create this mapping between the movement and the sound and create an environment that would be very intuitively understood and sensed and um, comprehended or or um, understood through the user's physicality mostly. So I'm trying to really look into the, the s sort of sonic properties that we can uh, embed in into the environment uh, for the user to explore through their movement. But in the second phase, I'm super, super excited to create to, to create a version, a sort of multiplayer version of the experience where we could have um, multiple persons or performers uh, interacting with each other and creating a joint musical composition through their movement. And in the past you have some works where you have been working with the technology in different ways? Yes, yes, this uh, Sounding Motion project, I have been working with, with it for the past five, six years and we have been creating performances, um, both with just dancers creating sound and music through their movement, but also some projects where we have musicians and dancers um, interacting with each other through this technology-enhanced <laughs> um, situation or realm. Yes. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Today is October 8th, 2019. We are in Montreal. Thank you. Thank you.